Let us finish our laboratory by doing the, uh, the last exercise, exercise number three, wheels and axles. So before you, you see this round black thing, that is a, a wheel, it's a, it has bearings on it, and it also has several radii. So in simple machines, if you want to get a force advantage, you have to give up distance disadvantage. In this case, we're gonna use the radius as a distance disadvantage. So the smaller radius, I wrap some string around and I attach it to a mass that I want to lift. And if I want a force advantage, then I use the larger radii to wrap a string around, and I'm going to lift it up using my spring scale. So uh, there are two methods, actually, we're going to use to find the, the TMI. I just need to stand up. There we go. The TMA, sorry. The ratio of the radii and also the distance ratio. So the distance ratio we did for the last two uh, exercises. But in this one, it's also uh, easy to find an independent uh, theoretical. Uh, it's probably a little bit easier to find, and that's using the distance of the radii. The radii are a little easier to measure. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to briefly zero. All right, so it looks like it's... I'm just zeroing the spring scale. I do that every time I do a measurement just to make sure. All right. Um, just a little bit more adjustment. Okay. Perfect. All right, so now that I got it zeroed, let's first measure the, the amount of force required for me to lift the, the mass up. That would be the force in. So, ready? All right, so what is that? It's between 0.5 and 1 Newton, 0 0.5, 0 0.6. It looks like it's right around 0.7 Newtons, okay? 0.7 Newtons. So now what we're gonna do is measure the distance. So uh, I'm going to, as I did before, put this thing on the bottom and move it up by 10 centimeters. So I'm gonna move this little mass up by 10 centimeters and then figure out how far my force meter moves. So again, it's going to be a little shaky because so right now I'm moving it to the so now the mass is on the floor and the mass hanger is at 30 Oop. I've got it up too high. I've got this pedestal right here that I have it on. 30, I'm trying to get rid of the parallax, 30, mm, 35.5, starting 35.5, and I move this up by 10, which it's a little difficult to figure it out. I'm doing this all by myself, so, and it looks like it's around 10 like that, and it moved all the way up past 60 here, um, 10, that's about around 10. Now, um, 62, 62 centimeters. All right, so now what we're going to do is measure the mass of, that was on the, the wheel and axle. Okay. Uh-oh. 200, 200.3 grams. 200.3 grams, and you've got the two distance measurements. Now the last thing we have to do is just measure the ratio of the radii. Hold on, oops, I'm moving the wrong one. Now to do this, I'm just gonna move my iPad right up front here, refocus it. So that's um, a little hard to do, but what we're going to do is measure the, uh, the, the diameter, and then divide by two, that's the best we can do. And I know there's a little uh, divot in there, but the divot is the same on the outer and the inner one. So if you measure the radii of the circle, I mean, the diameter of the circle, either uh, you can divide by the diameter or take the diameter divided by two to find the radii. It's the same thing. You get the same radius. So let's see. Uh, this is, oops, it's moving. One, two, three. It's 3.5. Trying that. It's kind of hard to see it because I mean, if I put it this way, I wonder if the light will. 
Oh, that's much better. Looks like it's 3.6. Don't include that little yellow string. 3.6 for the inner diameter. And the outer diameter, uh, okay, that's a little harder to measure. Let me just pull this out here. We can do the back. So we're gonna measure the outer diameter using the back. And again, let's see, put zero there. Trying to get the zero. Remember, it's a little, it's a little bit off because it doesn't start right at the beginning. This, I'm trying to put the zero right at the edge. Okay, now I got the zero at the edge. Ten point six. Okay, ten point six centimeters. So you got your two radii. Now go ahead and calculate uh, the the two TMAs and the AMA. You know, just divide the larger numbers by the smaller numbers. <laughs> 